Okay, well, I've just done an, an unboxing ceremony all on my own because it turns out the camera wasn't on record. So now we've unboxed the unboxing. There's the box. Now we've unboxed it. And this is a Nevada PS08, which is clearly out of the same factory as that, um, uh, was it Mydal uh, um, power supply which we did, which came from Waters and Stanton, but we came with a dodgy plug on the end. Well, this one is less money and comes from Nevada with the right kind of plug on the end for the UK. So, it's charged from say 6 to 8 amps, it's got a cigarette lighter socket uh, and it's got a, a bit of an ammeter. So, I think we're on to a better value product on this. And if we now delve into it, I'm on the Mr. Chippy sub bench, we could call it uh, bench number five because everything else is filled at the moment. So we'll just pop the screws out of this and I wonder if it's the same circuit board as we saw in that uh, Meidel one which had come from Waters and Stanton. So, let's get these out. Oh, I've got another power supply to show you which I dug out of the shed. Um, Harrier. We all like those Harrier base stations and the Harrier CB and the Harrier CBX. Well, they did do a power supply and I found a rather tired looking one in the shed. We'll just put that to one side because it's right in front of it. And oh dear, it's gonna, there's going to be an avalanche of reels of wire. And there has been an avalanche. So that's the front of it. And there's not a lot inside to be honest. All we've got is a smoothing capacitor, a few um, resistors to pull the earth on the regulator chip. I think it's an LM317 onto a heat sink. So very basic, it's a two amp power supply and we will do a rebuild on that. I'll do a rebuild video because uh, they're, they're bound to be worth having and two amps is quite adequate uh, for most CBs, although some of the latest models with their power hungry CPUs are drawing just over two amps on transmit but on the uh, the UK uh, CB2781 models I don't think there's any set that goes over one and a half amps so what we've got here is the earth bonded to the case and that is a 10 out of 10 thing to do and it looks to me exactly the same yeah it is exactly the same circuit um, it's the same fiberglass printed circuit board it's got a little trimmer to uh, to just adjust the power uh, voltage there which it's supplying so I'll tell you what we'll Although we tested the other one and it uh, worked out fine, I will go and get the electronic load and um, we'll try and prop it up on here somewhere. Right, I managed to stack them on top of each other. So I've set this up to do 100 milliamps. So I'll switch the power supply on and it lights up. Bearing in mind these are it's the mains neons just as it is on the Mydol one uh, so it doesn't prove that the thing's giving any output. Now we because we've got the instrument connected it's 13.7 volts so let's put that 100 milliamp load on and see what happens. So 13.7 that's fine take that load off We'll go up to one and a half amps, so we'll put the 0.5 there, move the cursor across. So it's like transmit on most CB radios. 13.6, so that's fine. So we'll take it off load again. And we'll take it to three and a half amps. And we've got 13.6. And we'll take it up to six amps. Like that. As you can see, the ammeter's 
swung across to six and a bit position and because it's an eight amp surge we'll just try that I'm not going to do this more than five seconds because it is a surge and it's still 13.4 so I'm just going to trim the voltage upwards because it's 13.7 I'd like it to be the 13.8 There we go, how about that? <laughs> and we'll take it back to a sensible load. Take it down to two amps. And there we have 13.7. And the meter just set shows just slightly over the two. So, but the beauty of this one is it does have the cigarette lighter socket. It makes it very useful, more so than one with just the banana sockets or the um, wire clamps like this has so I just thought so, well, somebody had suggested that this was on the market I didn't know about it so well done to that person who commented there was also a mention of another one and I've got that on order so I think this was 35.95 it was a few quid less than the Mido one which was exceptionally good value because as I say putting these together you know, you doing it. You're looking at fifty nine pounds. But having said that, when we're putting one together ourselves, we're using really high quality components. I know that the ones we're putting together will last a lifetime. So there you have it, the Nevada PSO eight, and it just goes for me now to stick the screws back in the case and shove it back in the box. So uh, we we have got some um, videos in the pipeline um, I'm working on a set at the moment but I was unable to do the repair in one session so uh, that one's uh, a bit on the back burner and of course it's not like I can do videos every day like I was doing in lockdown uh, because um, you know we're all we're back at work etc etc so uh, there you have it the Nevada PSO8 from well, it was telecoms, wasn't it, at Portsmouth? I don't know what they call themselves these days. Did they call themselves Nevada? I don't know. Anyway, thank you for watching.